Welcome to the NRC Community Coordination Toolbox, a practical guidance for facilitating the engagement of refugees, IDPs and affected communities in the decisions that affect their lives, focusing especially on displaced women and marginalised groups. Hi, I'm Miriam and I've been working with affected communities for the past 30 years. We all know that community participation is key in humanitarian response. The core humanitarian standard on quality and accountability places communities and people affected by crisis at the centre of humanitarian action. Participation of diverse groups from the affected population in making decisions about humanitarian assistance will make sure the different needs of the various groups are met. But often we still struggle to design our programme with the affected community. We struggle to engage with community members that can represent diverse needs and priorities. It is not only about sharing information, interacting, consulting and engaging with individuals and groups from the community, but also trying to do our best to ensure that those people are really representative and accountable to different components of the community and that we really listen to what they say. In my work, I have found in the NRC Community Coordination Toolbox very useful, practical guidance for different modalities and activities to engage with communities in different phases of the response. The Toolbox is a consolidation of tools developed by NRC practitioners over the years in camps, informal sites and urban neighbourhoods. It is the result of efforts of NRC teams and the displaced community members in Afghanistan, Iraq, Kenya, Lebanon, Palestine, Greece and Nigeria. Today, all this know-how can be found in one place, the Community Coordination Toolbox a web-based resource developed by the Norwegian Refugee Council, NRC, with the funding from the International Organisation for Migration. The Community Coordination Toolbox was designed to support practitioners in their work toward a more people-centred approach, to increase accountability to affected populations, to improve our communication with communities, to promote participation from the design to the evaluation of humanitarian response, to actively engage women and marginalised groups. The Toolbox has over 50 tools that aim to help you reach the displaced community members that are often excluded from participating in social life as well as humanitarian decision making, and women of the minority group specifically. It helps you identify them and help humanitarian practitioners increase their accountability to affected populations. To access the tools, all you have to do is visit the Toolbox website, choose your preferred language, English, French, Arabic, and search for the tools that best suit your context. You'll access tool sets in several topics divided into five chapters. You'll find explanations and guidance on how to use each set of tools. In the toolbox, you'll find staff training session plans that will prepare your team for engaging with and training the displaced community members in what they need to know to participate in the response. We uh, uh, adopted the uh, and used the tools from the governance structure uh, chapter of the toolbox and uh, supported the community uh, through training them on uh, various topics. Each uh, part of the community found uh, their uh, own representation in each community group and individuals got a stronger voice. In the staff training chapter, there are modules on participation and accountability, community facilitation skills, how and why to work with representatives, community stakeholder mapping and analysis, and coordination and information management. Once the team is trained, the toolbox has practical tools developed especially for settings and teams without camp management skill sets for identifying and working with informal leaders in communities, whether they're in camps or neighbourhoods, and guidance for how your team can use these tools step by step in the social and cultural influence analysis chapter. In Nigeria, women are faced with both social and cultural barriers that limit their ability to take up leadership roles. We use the Take Mapping and Analysis tool from the Community Coordination Toolbox to identify who are the women with influence and interest in the community. The tool gave our team the understanding and insight of who a stakeholder is, measure their influence, interests, and how to adapt our programming to leverage the positive strengths of these stakeholders. Depending on your context, the phrase of the project cycle you are in, the objective and the type of assistance you provide, and the concerns and needs of the displaced people, you might find different tools from the different chapters more useful than others. For example, the tools for the community-led projects guide the organisation in how to hand over some of the project design and management responsibilities to the disposed community. The community governance structures and women's coordination network chapters 
have extensive tools for how to support and train community members in interacting with and providing input and feedback to humanitarian organizations. The two community structures, roles and responsibilities, was applied in 15 spontaneous settlements and shelters monitored by IOM. Combining these tools with focus groups, we were able to support the strengthening of the role of female leaders and empowering women in general. The Community Coordination Toolbox is an ongoing project. NRC continues to gather experience from the field and add more resources to the toolbox. More tools will be added on community centre management as safe spaces for women, people-centred design tools and more guidance on community-led projects. Visit the Community Coordination Toolbox website now and join hundreds of humanitarian workers in more than 40 countries who use its tools to steer their programmes towards a people-driven response, facilitating the engagement of displaced women and marginalised groups in humanitarian planning and decision-making.